tutorial from thefunkyprofessor.com, I'm going to cover the course and the distribution of the musculocutaneous nerve. Now the musculocutaneous nerve is one of the nerves that supplies the upper limb. It comes from that network of nerves, the brachial plexus. Now it's quite confusing because there are an awful lot of nerves that supply the upper limb and I have one or two memory joggers for each nerve. For the musculocutaneous nerve, I have two words. The first word is muscle and the second is lateral. Now muscle is easy to remember because it's in the name of the nerve itself, musculocutaneous. And why do I use muscle? Well when men try and demonstrate their strength, they often flex their biceps and the biceps happens to be one of the muscles in the anterior compartment of the arm which is supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve. And I'll tell you why I use the word lateral. So let's start at the top. The musculocutaneous nerve is a branch of the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. It arrives from nerve root levels C5, C6 and C7. It lies lateral to the axillary artery. It starts at the lower border of pec minor, or pectoralis minor I should say, and as it descends forward it pierces through a muscle, the coracobrachialis muscle, and it descends down the arm in between biceps anteriorly and brachialis behind. So these are in fact the muscles in the anterior compartment of the arm and the musculocutaneous nerve supplies all of these muscles. Now a useful mnemonic to help you remember this is BBC. B for biceps, B for brachialis and C for coracobrachialis. It is worth mentioning though that the brachialis is quite naughty because it doesn't have one nerve that supplies it, it has two. And the second one being the radial nerve and it supplies just a small portion of the lateral aspect of the brachialis. But it's fair to say that the majority of the muscle is supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve. Now the musculocutaneous nerve continues down the arm and it actually pierces through the lateral aspect of the deep fascia of the biceps muscle or the bicipital aponeurosis and it continues down the forearm as the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. So that's why lateral is associated with musculocutaneous. And that's it. So to summarize, the musculocutaneous nerve arises from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. It arises from nerve roots level C5, C6 and C7. It starts at the lower border of the pectoralis minor muscle. It lies lateral to the axillary artery. It pierces through the coracobrachialis muscle and it supplies the muscles of the anterior compartment of the arm, which were BBC, biceps, brachialis and coracobrachialis. At the level of the elbow, it pierces through the lateral aspect of the bicipital aponeurosis and it continues down the forearm as the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. There you have it, the musculocutaneous nerve. Yeah.